Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. I'm out here with Gabe today. So Gabe lives next to me. I was cleaning my boat one day and he was driving by and stopped by and introduced himself in front of the channel and lived right next to me. So he's a deckhand on a lot of these boats, Gabe. How about you introduce yourself here? Hi guys. So what, what boats do you deckhand on? I deckhanded on the Blue Runner out of Sausalito. Blue Runner, he was saying there. See, look at that. You guys just out here working. He was getting all the bait ready while we're driving. This guy definitely has sea legs, that's for sure. So he also has these good hoop nets. Do you guys know regulations, no traps yet. But check these things out. Kind of the real deal when it comes to these hoop nets. Uh, a lot better than the ones I was using for the opener. So our plan this morning is we're gonna drop these basically in a line, we got seven of them. And then we're just gonna circle back around and just start picking them up. We got the crab puller. So we'll get, get, uh, you know, get them up easy with that. And hopefully we can get some uh, quick crab here and we'll get some link cod and rockfish. I really wanna get a link cod today. Beautiful morning, nice conditions, feeling good. All right, you ready to get some crab and fish today? Let's do it. All right. Well, the first one just went down. We're 90 feet of water. So what's our plan here? Just gonna stick along the 90 feet line? Yeah, stick along that line. All right, so instead of like changing our depth, we're just gonna make a line at that depth. Uh, for bait, we got salmon and rockfish. using these bags today. So what he's doing is he's making sure that the bag is tight on the bottom there, not just clipped and flinging all around. You want it to stay put. Well, that was the last one right there. So we got seven down now, spread out about, I don't know, 100, 200 yards apart. How are you feeling? How are we gonna get? Oh, we'll see here. Looks good. Yeah, what are you guys thinking at home? I'm hoping, hoping we get an average of two a pool. I know that's, that seems kind of high, but who knows? We'll see what here. We're going for limits though, folks. Limits, quick limits. Is it gonna happen? Let's go find out. So we're gonna circle back now and pull that first one. It's probably only been soaking, you know, 20 minutes. Maybe when we get there, you know, 30 minutes. So we'll, we'll drive to it slowly and, and give it a pull. All right, time to check out number one. Well, with the puller and Gabe, there's not too much work for me to do. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Oh, wow. Really tell those crab who's boss, huh? <laughs> Three. What a start. Number two. Pot number two, it looks like two or three keepers. That's a good one. Oh, one of those six inches. Two keepers and number two. Pulling on number three now.
<laughs> Another good one. Well, these pots you brought are sure, I guess you can't call pots, nets you brought are working good. <laughs> Cut six, seven, eight, nine. Number four, Gibbs just had to rub it in that we got nine crab on the boat in like 20 minutes and opening day we spent hours out there and got nine total for three of us but hey we're a lot closer in and we're using snares that day and crappy hoop nets well how many in pot number four another good one I mean, these are like 40 minute soaks probably at this point now. Number 10. Ooh, biggest one yet maybe. <laughs> 11. He thinks he's a basketball player too. He's making me nervous though. I guess there's enough crab. All right, 12. 13. Ho oh, ho! That's a good one. <laughs> Maybe don't shoot the big ones. <laughs> so, a 13, I think that makes 14 with this one here. So, we kept that guy right here because that, that's our smallest crab at the moment. Five and three quarters, that one. So, we'll leave him there. Hopefully upgrade them at the end. All right, net number five. Hoop net five. Well, seems very consistent. Smaller one, put it here. We've got 16, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> 20 That's a good one. Well, we got 21 back to 20 So limits on five pots. I mean, it's been an hour totally we've been out here. It's incredible. So we'll try and upgrade those three here on these next pools. Going for jumbos now. Pot number six. Let's do a little Instagram. So we're killing it guys. That's our sixth one coming up right now. We already got limits. All right, are we upgrading? Damn. Wow, we're just throwing away keepers after keepers here, huh? We upgrading it all? That one better, that one better than that one in there. Yeah, like. Like. These crab are gorgeous today. I mean, they have all of their legs, all of their claws. Okay, so we gotta go pull net number seven now. And we dropped one and two again, because you know we weren't sure what was gonna happen. But the rest of them, 
They're already in the boat, so we should be rock fishing here pretty shortly. But in the meantime, we're just trying to get some seven inchers, those jumbos. All right, well that final number seven now. But again, we'll have two to pull after this one, those first two again. Circle back one more time. Let's go dunk the camera down there again, that's fun. Oh, well, another about five keepers in that one we had to throw away. So I'm mistaken. We left the net one, two, and three down there. So we have three more to pull, actually. We're going to assess our situation right now, lay the crab out, find the biggest ones, put the smallest ones to the side. Just when we pull those ones, we're ready to upgrade. It's also good to count your crab before you go in. We could have mistakenly put an extra one in there and have 21 go in, fishing game counts them. We have an extra and now we have a huge ticket that we you know, weren't expecting. So I always check my crab before going in. So we put the big ones in there, and the smaller ones on the floor here. Counted right? What, what math class are you in? None. Uh oh. You, you graduated math? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, well, that's why you count. We had uh, 22 right now. So, yeah, got rid of two, got 20 in the boat. Let's go get those uh, three nets and see what we can upgrade with. So, you guys know the drill by now. The next three pots that we pulled up, same story four, five, six in there. So man, what an awesome opportunity to be out here today. Never seen this many crab. I mean, these pots have just been down there for, you know, 40 minutes and they're just stuffed, all of them. Great times. So final count, 19. Uh-oh, we gotta drop one down again. Shouldn't take long. I brought underwater camera and I forgot to put it in any of them. So now we get that opportunity. Let's drop the underwater camera down. We'll wait, I don't know, 20 minutes. We'll get our rockfish stuff all set up. We'll pull that up. Hopefully we can get some underwater action with some crab down there. We got it on there. Try and angle in it so we can get a view of the crab going in. Hopefully it uh, positions well when we get down there. All right, drop it down. It'll be nice and easy. Well, good day for the underwater camera. We got good visibility 90 feet down. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of current, so the bag's moving around. They get in front of the camera, but I'm holding out some hope we'll get to see some crabs coming in. Well, I uh, checked that one in what it, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So while we're waiting for that last crab, I got my uh, rockfish lures out for link cod. So Pitbull Tackle just sent me all these new swim baits. These new jig heads, different colors and sizes. My favorite Bora jig. And then more of these swim baits. So, I know I've already mentioned a few times, but if you guys are interested, Pitbull Tackle wanted to give you guys 10% off. Just use the code uh, CRISPY10. Visit their website. And yeah, you can go ahead and take advantage of that and grab some of these lures. We got the, the one keeper. <laughs> How funny. Wow. <laughs> All 
All right, hopefully we got some footage of him coming in. All right, well, I mean, it, it got gorgeous weather. It's, what time is it? It's so early still. It's nine o'clock. Uh, we got no wind, five foot swell, 14 seconds. Gonna get in some shorts and a, a t-shirt here and some flip-flops. Man, what weather. All right, we'll catch you guys on the rockfish grounds. So I'm gonna start off with a six ounce Bora jig. Current's moving a little bit here. We're 110 feet of water. I wanted to use a swim bait, but it's kind of hard to keep those on the bottom when you're moving a little quicker. When we get into shallower water, maybe 60, 80 feet, that's when we'll put the swim bait on. So we can go ahead and cast it in front of the boat a little bit because we're drifting out right now. So by the time it hits the bottom, it'll be directly below the boat. Versus if I just let it out, it's just below me right here, hits the bottom, it'll already be set back a little bit. These have to be 12 inches. I would say he's like right there. Go ahead and let this guy go. Second chance at life for this guy. All right, bye-bye. We're gonna use this now. It's a four ounce head. We are 57 feet of water. Hopefully there's some link caught here. 100 feet, it's just really hard to work that kind of lure down in that depth. So give it a try now. Bigger presentation. Going for those link cod. Well, I'm going back in the pond. Oh, I'll take a keeper. All right, well, I caught the poor man's link cod. It's a kelp green lean. Same family as the link cod. In the pot. Guess we'll keep them. All right, throw one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight keepers. It's definitely a nice keeper one right here, but I just don't want to flay any more fish when I get home, and he doesn't <laughs> want any. Doesn't it look good down here, does it? I might have something here. It's not huge, it's just dead weight. Darn it, it's 21 inches. First little length. All right, well, first thing caught on the boat. Gabe just got it. Fortunately, I think this is like 21 inches. Not even a little 20 incher. All right, well, signs of them. All right, I'm already forecasting the comments ahead of time. Use live bait to catch link cod. <laughs> I hear ya. How about next time we come out here, we use some, some live smelt or something for some link cod, make sure we get them. Ah, see, I knew I got bit. Yeah. You guys like fishing your swim baits <laughs> with or without tails? It's 11 o'clock now. We're kind of deciding we want to keep fishing, go for that link cod. 
We're just going with these limits of crab and the rockfish we have. And we're gonna decide to do that, save our day, get home, we'll be like one o'clock. It's always awesome when that happens. I had a great time fishing with you today. It was fun. It was. It was fun. Thanks for bringing those uh, hoop nets out. Thank you for taking that, me. That was easy limits right there with those. So let's look at our catch again. Here's the rockfish. Nice variety. And then those crab. Gonna be eating good tonight. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a great time out here today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.